The Orange Order ruined our chance at independence. Sean, I would agree with that, but I wouldn't just blame the Orange Order because they stand for the Crown and the Bible, so I am reliably informed. And had every Scot got a hundred percent behind the monarchy, chucked all this not my king rubbish, chucked all this booing at the national anthem rubbish, if they'd all got behind the monarchy, that would have been that little challenge ironed out. And then you would have got the unionist vote who genuinely believe in independence because they would have known that the crown and the Bible were safe in Scottish hands and safe in the hands of the Scottish nationalists. Do you see where I'm coming from? And every single halfwit comes flying back, oh, not my king, not my king. Every single not my kinger is anti-Scots and anti-independence. Have we got that? So I would say to the Scottish people, make sure you support the monarchy. If you don't care for the incumbent, then you must respect the office of the crown. The incumbent is the representative of the crown. The crown as such is in the hands of the city of London, the square mile, the golden mile, the big pennies, because that's where the money is. And that's what buys and sells things. Yeah, and when you hear these are crown estates, that belongs to the crown. Yeah, the crown is our symbol of authority. The king is the representative. 